Greetings everyone, this is Donna Gilliland and you're going to learn very quickly how to use two text functions, concatenate and proper, to join text columns together. You know, a lot of times people think that Microsoft Excel formulas are all about crunching numbers, but Microsoft Excel has many functions that will help you with text. And here is the need uh, in this example. These names have been typed in in lowercase. I would like for them to, one, be properly cased. So we're going to use the text function proper. Proper, if you've never used it, it will analyze the, the cells that you've specified and it will properly case by capitalizing the first letter of each text uh, information that you're bringing in. The other part is I want to join the last name to the first name into this full name column. And concatenate is a text function that will let you join multiple strings together. In our case, it's going to be two columns of information. One final thing about what you are about to do. When these are joined together, I also want there to be a comma after the last name and a space and then the first name. We're going to accomplish all of this with this nested formula. Nested simply means that you are combining more than one function together. You're going to be learning several things in this one simple formula. Let's get started. Of course, all formulas start with an equal sign, and I know that I want to use proper first. I'm just looking for proper in the auto list so I don't have to type it out. I've double clicked. And the reason I'm putting proper first is because I want the joined information through concatenate, I want it to be properly cased when it is joined together. So there's that initial paren, like it is for all functions. And now I'm going to type the next function, concatenate. And there's that next paren because we have two functions. Now I'm ready. As you can see, help guides you through bolded information, letting you know what you should do first. Now, the first piece of text, I want to pull in their last names first, and I'm clicking A2, and then a comma, because in the formula, or in formulas, commas, if you don't know already, consider them uh, trigger points uh, in that it's notifying Excel that you finished the first required part of the function parameter, uh, that you're using and you're ready to go on to the next part of the formula. In our case, the next part is not bringing in text. I, am, I want there to be a literal comma and a literal space. So this is another learning point for you. If you want a formula to type in, return to a cell, something literal like a comma and a space, then it will have to be placed in quotation marks. With that said, Here's my open quotation mark. Now I'm going to put in the comma that I want Excel to type into the cell. And then now press the space bar to get the space I need. And then close it with a close quote because that is finalizing what you want done in terms of type into the cell, the comma, and the space. Now this comma outside the close paren is just another signal if you will, that you've finished another parameter or another piece of instruction that goes inside this formula. And then the last piece is I need to choose the cell that has the first name, which is in cell B2. Now on the closing part, we need two closing parentheses because you're ha you have two functions. So you have two open parens and you will need to close with two open parens. The formula is complete. I press the enter key, the last name is joined with the first name, there is a comma, and there is a space. And then go back and use the shortcut when it comes to copying formulas vertically. The small square in the lower right corner of all active cells, when you approach that lower right corner, you will receive a crosshaired symbol, and now you're ready to double click, and that will be a shortcut to copy the formula all the way down. You learn several things in that one activity in a short period of time. So I'm going to open up the formula for you to see. And then, of course, you could pause the video and analyze that formula if you want. And that is 
it for now. So I hope you enjoyed this power tip of using two text functions, learning how to nest, and learning how to return literals like commas and or spaces into the end result of your information through the formula. Again, this is Donna Gillen, founder of Moss Training, where I provide training in Microsoft Office, uh, mobile productivity, and social media. I hope you subscribe to my channel and share this with those that you think would benefit. All right, so that's it and more coming later. It's bye for now.